In the 1940s, the lightweight division was controlled by three champions, Bob Montgomery, Bo Jack, and probably the best of the three, Ike Williams. During the decade, there were 10 fights involving some combination of these three fighters. Tonight, we'll focus on Williams and Jack. In July of 1948, Ike Williams was world champion, having defeated Montgomery for the title a year earlier. He then defended the title against Enrique Bolanos and was ready to take on former champion Bo Jack. Jack was trying to become the first man in history to win the lightweight title three times. A 27-year-old former golf caddy from Augusta, Georgia, Jack hoped his swarming style would get the job done against the smooth and yet powerful Williams. The bout was held up for 40 minutes because the television network wanted to finish broadcasting Senator Alban Barkley's keynote address at the Democratic Convention. When it finally got underway, the fight proved to be well worth the wait. Let's have a look. Mike Williams comes out for round one in the lighter trunks. The challenger, Bo Jack, is wearing the black trunks with the white stripe. Ike Williams, with back to camera, won the world lightweight title in 1947, just last year, when he KO'd Bob Montgomery in Philadelphia. The champion has defended the world lightweight title once. Ike took a unanimous 15-round decision over Enrique Bolanos just six weeks ago in Los Angeles. Bojack, here forcing the action in round one, tying up Williams, won the lightweight title in 1942, six years ago, when he KO'd Tippy Larkin in New York. Bo then lost the world lightweight title to Bob Montgomery in 1943, and then regained it once again four months later in a 15-round decision. Bojack, to the left of your screen, can bomb with both hands. Champion Ike Williams is known as a boxer puncher. Williams, with back to camera, has a crisp left jab. Both fighters throwing ripping punches here in round one. Bojack throwing bombs. There's the end of round one. The champion, Ike Williams, won round two with accurate counterpunching. Here in round three, it's still very close. Both men weighed in this afternoon at exactly 135 pounds. Since winning the world lightweight title one year ago, Ike Williams has won nine straight fights. Ike's last fight was his title defense against Enrique Bolanos. Both of these men are known as great fighters. They both have a tremendous following. In his last fight six weeks ago, Bojack won a 10-round decision from the hard-hitting Tony Gennaro in Washington, D.C.
Both men ripping punches to the body. Bojack likes to fight in close. Mike Williams likes to box at long range. The champion, Ike Williams, is 25, two years younger than Bojack. Stinging punches by Ike Williams. Ripping punches by challenger Bo Jack. Bo wants to get that title back. Mike Williams began his professional career in 1940, eight years ago. In 103 professional fights, the champion has won 90, a great record. Round four was scored evenly. Here in round five, both fighters are still very sharp, both looking to score a clean knockout. Of the six fights the champion Ike Williams has won this year, the most notable was a hard-fought 10-round decision over Kid Gavilan in New York City. Jack staying all over champion Williams. The referee separates the two fighters. He loves the infighting. Jack, like champion Williams, began his professional career in 1940, eight years ago. Bo's manager, Chick Wergelis, says his fighter is trained very hard, and he's very confident that Bo will regain the world lightweight title tonight. Both men throwing bombs in there. Williams coming on strong, and Bojack comes right back. Here's the end of a sensational round five. Here in round six, Ike Williams looks definitely to be the stronger of the two fighters. Sharp, jolting punches by Ike Williams. Williams pouring it on, a barrage of punches. Bojack is in trouble. Bojack staggers backward into the corner. Williams pouring it on. 
Shoulding punches, ripping combinations. Williams asked the referee to stop the fight. And the referee finally steps in and awards Ike Williams a sensational sixth round knockout victory. Here in slow motion, we see the beginning of the sixth round. Williams scoring with a left hook. Ike follows with two punches to the body and a right to the head. Williams ripping punches on Bo Jack. Bo staggers backward into the corner. Dynamite punches by Ike Williams. Rapid fire lefts and rights. And finally, Williams appeals to the referee to stop the fight. He thinks that Bo Jack is helpless. Ike turns to the referee. He wants the ref to step in there. The referee doesn't heed Williams. Ike pours it on once again, and finally the referee steps in. It's all over. Ike Williams wins a hard-fought sixth-round KO victory over the courageous Bo Jack. Williams, considered by many to be one of the greatest lightweight champions of all time, along with Joe Gans, Benny Leonard, Barney Ross, and Henry Armstrong. A sensational victory for Ike Williams. In round six, Ike Williams showed his respect for Bo Jack. Battling a helpless Jack, Ike implored referee Charlie Dagger to stop the bout. Dagger took a while to respond, but finally ended it. Williams went on to hold the lightweight title until 1951. Jack never got another title shot. Both fighters ended their careers with back-to-back -back bouts against each other in Jack's hometown of Augusta, Georgia. One ended in a draw, the other Williams won with a TKO. Bo Jack never did beat Williams, but there was no opponent Ike respected more. I'll be back with some final thoughts in just a moment.